Hey everyone, in this video we're looking at geometric reasoning and the properties of quadrilaterals and polygons in order to um, verify or prove something based on your theorems. So if we go back at um, your quadrilaterals, a quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon. Um, this is the picture from the video called Previously in Geometry. So if you're um, not familiar, I would suggest that you go back to that video. We know that parallelograms um, the angles add up to 360 degrees and there are certain properties when it comes to do, um, dealing with their diagonals. So again, if you're needing to refresh on those ones, go to the uh, previously, Ooh. previously in geometry. So in this one, we are looking at also polygons. So a polygon is a closed uh, geometric shape. Um, can have many sides. That's just essentially what poly means. Uh, it's important to note that the interior angles can be determined by a formula or calculated by a formula. So it doesn't matter how many angles you have, um, you always can follow this rule where n equals the sides in the polygon. So even if you had an irregular polygon, the formula is derived from how many triangles you can get in your shape. So in this case here, there's three triangles, so 180 plus 180 plus 180, and that gives you your um, shapes. Look, one, two, three, four, five, and that's where that comes from. So both of these are considered pentagons. One is irregular, one is irregular, and it's because there's three triangles. So even if you have a look here, one, two, three. So that's the re where it comes from. So in this case here, uh, the, the, the angles equals n minus 2 times 180. That's 5 minus 2 times 180. And that's going to give us 540 degrees. So if this is 540 degrees internally, and these are all equal sides, I know that it's going to be, uh, to find M is going to be 540 divided by 5. Um, that's going to give us uh, 50, 10, and it's going to give us 108 degrees. So that's how we can find any of our interior angles on polygons, um, providing that they were equal sides. But at least you can get this part here um, for any any polygon interior angles. So that is there for you. Okay, so here we have a question with our properties of quadrilaterals and we're trying to prove that um, two triangles are congruent or uh, the same. So let's have a look at so the information that I've been given is uh, this top line here. So I've just put that top line into my given and I'm also put the prove. I'm also trying to prove not only are that those two triangles are congruent, I also have to prove that um, parallelogram X, A, Z, B, sorry, shape is a paragraph, is a parallelogram. So they're the two things I need to prove. So I'm actually going to probably have to go down a bit further as I work through this sequence. So just having a look here straight away, I'm going to try and work on this congruency of these triangles. So it's saying that uh, angle XYZ, XYZ, so that's this angle here, is congruent to, I'm uh, sorry, is equal to BWZ, which is this angle here. So I want to make sure that I can get at least then two sides to correspond. Um, that's already kind of happened for us. So line X, Y, this one here is equal to W, Z, which it is. So I can use that already. So I'm going to use X, Y equals uh, Y, Z. And this is being given. And it also is one side of my congruency um, test. So angle X, Y, Z has been, um, is equal to B, W, Z. And again, that's been given. Ooh. I'll rewrite that. And we have a side. And then we have, we now need to work out, oh, sorry, that's not side, that's angle. Angle. 
And then the next one we need to try and work out is this side here. So we have some information. We know that y, z and um, x, y are equal. That will help us with this bit here. But we also know that um, x, b and a, z are equal. So if that's the case, if they're equal and these are equal, if you subtract, uh, what is it? Um, x, y minus um, bx, it's going to equal the same as um, uh, yz minus az. So it's going to equal the same side lengths. So therefore, uh, ya is equal to uh, bw. Oh, sorry, yep, bw. So that's how we know that, and that means that this is, um, so it's the difference in length, oh, and also that um, these are then also opposite side, oh, sorry, uh, xb equals az is given. And that gives us our side. So therefore, I'm just going to do that in a different color, just so you know it's like the last bit. I have now have enough information side, angle, side. Therefore, triangles X, Y, A. So this triangle here, X, Y, A. We know that these two sides are equal. Is congruent to triangle, um, so Z, W, B. Okay, so that's how we know, oh, oops, Z, W, B. If those two triangles are congruent, it means that the has, these two sides here have to be equal. So um, if X, Y, A is congruent to triangle Z, W, B, then lines, so which means BZ is equal to AZ. That's these two lines. So that's uh, congruency and what is it? Side. Uh, so now that would be side, 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 because that would be all those three sides. So if those two lines are the same, so that gives us those, um, and we've been given X, B equals A, Z, and that is given. Um, and we also know that, so we've now got opposite sides are equal, and that's one of the conditions. So it's sides are equal. And... Uh, shape X, uh, A, Z, B is a parallelogram. So that's how we can use the properties of uh, congruency, similarity, and um, all our other geometrical theorems to support, uh, prove that this is a parallelogram. So if you watch the video, here are your questions. These are the questions from your homework sheets um, attached in here. So uh, you can pause, do question one and two, and then pause again when you need to do question three. Okay, thanks everyone.